Okay, <laughs> so I just converted all of my listings to free shipping. That is a huge deal. And I mean, it took me like three hours. I hope that it pays off um, because in, you know, in some ways I'm losing money, but in others I'm coming out ahead, I think. So I mean, I'm not going to be too worried about it. I'm just going to kind of go with it and see what happens. Obviously, I'm going to be really, really mad if my sales just continue to tank. Um, and there might that might be a, an issue. Um, I know on Etsy search, it will automatically, I think it goes by relevancy first. Well, yeah, that... I'm not sure how Etsy prioritizes list, uh, their search results, but I do know that if you were to search for something, you can sort it by the price. So if you were looking for this bowl right here, maybe you would search for it. And obviously $42 is going to be like further down. You're going to see all the ones that are, you know, 25 to 35 or whatever it normally goes for. And then eventually you'll see this one, but yet mine's free shipping, so it's technically a better deal. So I'm not sure how Etsy deals with that situation. I do know that you can isolate, like if you're searching, um, if you're searching for something, you can choose to show only the free shipping uh, list uh, results. You could do it that way. You could do that on the desktop version, but I don't know if you can yet do that on the app and I think the app is where most people buy things um, another big thing that I did is I actually changed all my listings all my prices to even numbers so 52 42 18 17 they so there's no change and the reason I did that is I was thinking about how psychology comes into play with pricing and you know how people think and so I did a little searching and one of the articles I read said that things that end in like 99 cents or whatever, whenever people see that, they immediately think, oh, they got a deal. And so their mind goes into the um, analytical side, the saving side, the money side. When it ends in an even number, you're, you're more thinking of it as like, oh, this is a treat. I'm going to buy this, you know. It's you're you're impulsive, you know, to put it bluntly. So you're not really thinking about the oh, is this the best deal? So I went ahead and put everything into even numbers uh, with free shipping. So literally, it's pretty easy to know what you're paying for. I mean, you're literally like thirty-seven dollars, and that's it. Free shipping, easy. Thirty-two dollars. So there's not like a, a secondary surprise number. Obviously, this would have been, what, like $20, $25? And someone would have made probably two decisions if they weren't looking all over the place. Um, they would have said, okay, yeah, $25, I can do that. And then they would have go check out, and they would say, oh, okay, that's another $8. Mm, I don't know, do I really need this? So the idea, I think, that I'm trying to go with is that there's less cognitive thinking involved. It's more of an impulse and you're so it's, you know, it's a little trick. Now, another avenue that I that helps me choose these numbers is I went ahead and went to Anthropolo Anthropology, which is a really cool store. And I was looking at um, how they price their items. And look at that. No change on anything. Um, so I was going through and just looking at all of the prices. And there's literally no change now I I um what's the word I went what am I trying to say I went to their new arrivals section because I did not want to be seeing any on sale things or any markdowns so I wanted to see full price items that's why I went to new arrivals and new arrivals shows um obviously the full prices that the people wanted to set so you'll see 198 188 128. Oh, that's a lot of eights. Huh. I didn't notice that before. I wasn't looking at the clothing. That's interesting. If you actually really stop and think about clothing or any of the prices, all these clothes end in eight. And then I was looking at the, let me go to the home and furniture. 
uh, kitchen and dining section. I'm curious like how they have their prices set up because I know in the makeup it was all over the place. Okay, now we're back to 20, 14, 24, 10. Uh, interesting, interesting. Okay, so another takeaway from looking on this website is I seen the lack of three, the number three. And I don't know of any studies done on that, but if you look, the second number is never a three. It's always a four or a zero or an eight. Uh, what else is there? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong numbers. Four, yeah, two. <laughs> I was looking at the change. Uh, a two, a six, a two, two, eight, eight. There are no threes. So I figured that was for a reason. Uh, and this is a big name brand store, so they must know what they're doing when it comes to pricing. And they charge good numbers. Like they have, they make good money on their stuff. So, uh, yeah, I went ahead and actually took away all my threes. Um, that means, you know, the second number, not the first number. So 37, 32. So if I would have came up to 32 or 33, I would have just knocked it down to 32 or 34, depending on which way I wanted to go. Um, because originally <clears throat> a lot of my glasses were 1295. And so, um, I just knocked them down to 12 because I think 14 would be a little too much for it. But yeah, that's what I did. And we're gonna see what happens. Um, it'll be a lot more easier. I know if I was the buyer, I would like this. I would like just even numbers, really easy. No like change and shipping on all that. Um, I know as a seller, it's really easy to get into the mindset of, well, I know I'm gonna make X amount of dollars and that's all I need to know. And whatever the shipping is, that's the shipping. And that was my mindset. And um, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But with all the changes happening right now with Amazon, well, you know, everyone's shopping on Amazon. And if you have a Prime membership, then you get free shipping and you don't have to really worry about shipping anymore. So, um, so even the large companies are doing that with the, the free shipping and everything. Now, I could have done free shipping if you spend X amount of dollars in my shop, but um, that really wasn't going to serve me very well either because uh, if like say the item was $50 and it was going to California, that's $18 right off of there. So that's a huge chunk of money. It just doesn't make sense to do it like that. Um, so I'd rather build some money, some of the shipping cost into the item and then put free shipping on it. Otherwise, um, you know, uh, otherwise I would have to say anything that's over, like if I want my free shipping to be, if you spend $30, well then I would have to in my mind think, okay, well, anything that's over $30, I better actually bump it up another $10 just in case, you know, somebody takes advantage of the free shipping thing. Um, I just don't know if that's the right move. So I think with everything being free shipping, it's just easier. Now I may find that this is completely a bad idea, but I'm gonna run with it for probably a month at least and see what happens. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching this video. It's been a different one um, and it's mostly staring at a screen. But um, anyway, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Bye-bye.